Alrighty, welcome back to part 3 of the ORCAD X Presto tutorial series. In this video, we're going to work with the cross-section editor to set up the stack up for the PCB that we're designing. Now the stack up is generally determined either by like the complexity of your design, right? How many layers do you need to, to route all the different connections? Maybe it's a signal integrity requirement, sometimes just a cost constraint, right? You need to remove some layers to make the PCB board cheaper. Either way, it's something that's very easy to edit in ORCAD X Presto. Before we do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the units in my design from mils to millimeters, as that's what I'm more familiar with. To do that, make sure that you're in the selection mode, have nothing selected. Your properties on the right side here will be in the context of your whole design. And you can see in the bottom section here, we have this parameters. You can simply just click on this units millimeters and that'll go ahead and change all of our units to millimeters. Okay. Now to edit the cross section, what you need to do is go up into tools and select cross section. This is going to open up a new window. Now the cross section editor is very, very powerful. And so let's kind of take a look at what we can do here. On the left side here, we have a table where we can add and remove different layers from our design. On the right side here is a preview of the stack up. Make this a little larger if we need it to. And if we have multiple stack ups, for example, in the rigid flex design, you would see them side by side here, as well as if you have different vias in your design, you can see little previews of the vias going through the layers. And then at the bottom here is just a summary of, for example, the overall thickness of your board. You know, what type of layers you have in your design, two conductor layers right now, if there's any plane layers, etc. If you scroll to the right side here, there's a lot of different parameters that you can set for your cross section. For example, each layer you can set the thickness of the layer, uh, what material it is, whether it doesn't matter if it's a copper or a dielectric layer, or surface finish, whatever. You can set its embedded status. We won't talk about that right now. And then if you're working with any sort of high speed signals, you can set, for example, the dielectric constant of your layers. It'll automatically, for example, calculate some of your impedances of certain signals. What we're going to focus on is basically just the type of layer and also the thickness. Everything else is just kind of extra, at least for now. So what we want to do is actually change this into a four layer stack up. So to add a layer, we're going to right click on top and select add layer pair below. You'll see that it adds a third layer here. And then we're just gonna right click here again and select add layer pair below. We actually want our internal layers to be plane layers. To do that, simply click on this layer type drop down and select plane. And you can see now that the layer function is plane instead of conductor layer. We can still route on it, but this will just help us to understand, well, we want to use the two internal layers as, as planes. And there are some uh, advanced features that might take advantage of these being plane layers rather than just uh, conductor layers. Now, what we can do is also manually set the thickness and the tolerance of each of these layers. But what I want to show you is also the ability to import and export cross sections uh, into ORCAD X Presto. So if we look at the export functionality, we have this option to export a cross section technology file. What that includes is all the information that you see in this table and that can be exported and imported between sessions. So you can save them for your own designs and reuse them or even share them with another designer. Now I already have a technology file that I created earlier. So instead of typing these in manually, we'll just import the cross section that I created for a four layer design. To do that, go to import cross section technology file, and then just navigate to the technology file. It's gonna be a .tcfx extension. Then here we want to say overwrite update all information. This is going to update our whole cross section. Select open. You're gonna see the difference report. This is basically just a report of all the changes that have been made. So for example, the top layer thickness has been updated from 0.03 millimeters to 0.035 millimeters. And you can look through all the different layers, etc. And then if I look back in the cross section, you'll notice that these two internal layers got renamed to L2 and L3. And then their thicknesses also got updated as well. Now we can just hit OK. Because we've updated our cross section, now our visibility options are updated as well. So if we're looking at the visibility of the layers, we now have the top layer, 
layer two, layer three, and bottom layer that we can turn visibility on and off for. And it's also quickly available through these little shortcuts down at the bottom here. Now, we don't have anything on our PCB right now to turn on or off, but if we had traces, shapes, etc., we could enable them or disable them. So that's it. We have set up our cross section. In the next video, we're going to get started with placing some components. So see you then.